Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Open XCOM Terror from the Deep. Last time we did. We actually died last time. We got. Um, we got screwed. So let's. Hopefully we won't get screwed again. I reloaded before. Um, well, apparently, before I changed this. Um, Everybody's still alive. Did every did anyone go on a mission yet? Yes. People have gone on missions. Uh, so that means we're after the first mission, before the base mission. I don't know what to do. If we get another base mission, I don't know what to do. I might have to restart. So. <laughs> saves coming, anyone? Saves coming, anyone? Yes. Saves coming is on. So hopefully we won't get unlucky again. Um, that was a pretty nasty base mission. And, um, but we're going to try again. So here we go. Let's hopefully know. Goss technology has been researched. We'll, uh, not do Goss tech because I wanted to change that and stop it. So we need to get to Blasta Rifles, like right now. Actually, no. We need to get to Sonic Pulsers. Because if we get another base defense mission, we're going to need Sonic Pulsers. We are going to need Sonic Pulsers. I am not... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We need more Aquanauts as well. 397,000, that's not enough. That's not enough at all. We are manufacturing those med kits. Almost being done. Please, please, please. Please don't get a base mission. Please don't get a base mission. We need some money. Okay, good. That is not a base mission. That is normal mission. Construction of alien containment complete. Oh, that's excellent. So let's shoot this guy down. Hopefully we'll have uh, sound effects this time. No! No, he did not get away. Who is this? Who is this? Captain Lazarus, he did not activate... Your warp scrambler. How dare you. Okay, let's see here. We got uh, able seaman can go out. Grab him. I think he's gone. He's gone. Return to base. Set your target down there. So we can't catch up to him. We cannot. Return to base. Okay, that's better. An island attack. On uh, Mal Dive Island. Intercept. I don't know if we should do this or not. I don't know if we should do this or not. Oh, I should have grabbed thermal tasers. No. Well, I, I wouldn't have had them, I don't think. We do need to purchase those thermal tasers. Do we have any? I don't know if we actually have some or not. I can't remember if we actually bought thermal tasers or not. Hopefully they're on the craft. But we got more just in case. No, no thermal tasers. This is not really worth doing, to be honest. Let's just peek out and see what we're up against here. Yeah, we we need a live one of these guys for sure. Shorezies, but our guys are not um, very capable of um, doing that. Yeah, about that. Lots of death. I don't want to go outside right now. I really don't want to go outside at all. I would like to get a, a live deep one this early in the game. I planned on getting a live deep one this early in the game, but at the same time...
good shot. At the same time, I'm really wasting my time here. I really don't have the firepower to take these guys out. So, sorry people of that island, but we need to get back. We did make some rank, which is good. If I would have had thermal tasers, I would have went, but I just forgot to fucking put them on. So, we didn't go, but that's okay, because we are back home all safe and sound. Hopefully we will not get attacked. I really don't want to get attacked. Okay, so, um, we do have some lieutenants here. Commander Luke has risen to the rank of lieutenant. He is now the highest ranking officer here. Um... Yeah, we need thermal tasers. Thermal tasers, we don't have any. Okay, we're gonna get the thermal tasers in a little bit, hopefully, here. Got the thermal tasers, we're gonna equip the submarine with the thermal tasers. Awesome. Um, right, everybody gets one. Unless you are a weakling. Which it does not seem that I take that back. Slora Scorch is a weakling. So, thermal tasers, thermal tasers, thermal tasers, thermal tasers. And we got a Commander Luke is a weakling, actually. Actually, Commander Luke is not technically a weakling, he just has a big weapon already. And that's okay. Lieutenant, can you hold this? Yes, you can. Thank you, Commander Hobbs. Thank you, Ivan. I hope um, I hope that's that's okay that I failed and I just restarted. I don't know if that's like standard, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I could have done. Maybe I could have thrown some. Um, Magna pack explosives on the last mission or something. I'm sure somebody will tell me that I have done the wrong thing and uh, I could have done that mission but um, as experienced as I am with Open XCOM, I was unable to do that and when I say Open XCOM, I mean Open XCOM TFTD so Let's go! Mission 2 Mission 3 actually so, we've got our helmets on, we're in the water. Yeah, I was seriously considering not uploading the second video and just um, reloading, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to show you that this game can still be extremely brutal even though it's open. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else is having problems with um, early base attack missions. I don't have enough experience really to say that if the early base tech missions didn't happen in the original game, because I haven't really played the original game that much, so I don't know. But, um... That being said, you don't have a weapon. Go back in. Thank you. Hopefully we won't get, uh, we got a nice little grenade target like right here, and we haven't seen a single alien yet. And that really bugs the shit out of me right now. But this game is gonna be fun. Okay. There's one down. That is Ivan Dogovich. He is down and dead. We got some shooting. People came out and shot at us. The Aquatoids. Do we have enough? Yeah, we got range on that guy. We also have a rookie who is um, actually Vice Admiral Sub Super. He just missed a bunch of shots right there. That's a good shot. Captain Dakey can uh, probably step on top of the Triton and. Let's not shoot there, let's shoot here. Okay, aim shot. Snap shot. 
There we go. That's how we like to do it. Who was that, anyways? Commander Luke. Excellent. Solaris Scorch misses. So, I guess we, we can now use this uh, video series for some discussion. Since this is a pivotal time in Open XCOM, and I have the attention of at least a few devs of uh, mod authors as well. What type of mods do we want from Open XCOM? That's the question of the day. What type of mods would we want? Do we want underwater seahorses that scout for us? Do we want... Um, I don't even know, honestly. I'm sure the same type of mods that have already come out for Open XCOM will come out for Open TFTD. I assume. I guess there's going to be some, uh, you know, modifications to the mods. Like, for instance, uh, <laughs> the attack dog could have uh, a little helmet on him, <laughs> which would be hilarious, by the way. Uh, <laughs> a little attack dog with a little, <laughs> with a little scuba suit. That would be cool. But what else would you like? What else would you like? Go ahead and say in the comments about how I just killed Commander Voltaire because I wasn't paying attention. Say in the comments what you want. That was a good shot. Nice job. Vice Admiral Wareboy. I do uh, realize that he, he's, his name is spelled slightly wrong. I think I put a little extra E in there somewhere. Concerned. That is what I was talking about about the grenades. And Vice Admiral Wareboy is down. Did not make it. The unfortunate victim of a grenade toss, which is, um, sorry to say, it's quite common in uh, Open XCOM. Or in XCOM in general, really. You are the victim of a very terrible grenade toss. That does kill you. Damn it, shoes, you missed. Okay. Now, see what happens when I don't pay attention this happens. Does anybody have a grenade? Commander Luke does. Commander Luke doesn't have any time units. I know he does. Commander Luke does have some time Who else has full time units right now? Let's see here. Shoes is went. Robins went. That guy's went. Vice Admiral Sub Super has not gone and neither has uh, Commander Dioxine. So, um, so we're just going to throw this here. Sup Super is actually going to step forward one. Commander Dioxine is going to pick this up. Hopefully, have enough time to prime it. He does not have enough time to step, though. So, that's not going to actually work. So, that means that uh, Vice Admiral Sup Super, who is the acting commander, acting admiral of the, of the, um, of the squad here, We'll try to take a shot, but he misses. Okay. Ouch! There goes Commander Shoes. There goes Commander Hobbs. Well, this is going brilliantly. Gotta make your shots, guys. Gotta make the shots. I'm serious about that. Commander Daxline does have a full prime grenade. And Commander Luke has some ammo inside that, so he's just going to go up here and look. I did have a guy up here. Oh, I had Commander Daiki. Could have shot over there. Damn. Damn. Okay. See, that's what that's what I was doing. I was talking. I wasn't paying attention. And uh, got some people coming. So that's just awesome. There goes uh, the last guy. Apparently was injured somehow. But uh, we only got some aquaplastics and mag nav, which isn't so great. We got six guys killed. Jesus. So I got to do some administration now. So I think this is a good opportunity to go through my little key on my um, master file here. So let me bring up my master file right here. And then we're going to...
going to show you the master file by clicking on that button right there. Okay, so um, when I'm done, is that going to do that or is that not going to do that? Yet? No, it's not. So hold on one moment. So we have our master file up here. So I'm going to go over the uh, um, things. I don't know if you can read this, but basically I'm going to give out little words and things. I might add to this list later. Um, a single star means you're dead. A double star means you're dead twice. A purple heart is if I find that you did something really awesome to save the lives of others. Medal for bravery. Oh, pur sorry. Purple heart. What am I think? What am I saying? A purple heart's if you're injured. Medal for bravery is um, is if you do something awesome. And risk your life for others. Metal, uh, the RM is a medal for being the worst rookie. So if you do something really stupid as a rookie, then I'm gonna give you that medal. Uh, doctor is for medical professional, and I will put a tag on your name if you make it to Admiral at any point, and your clone will always have that tag after it's done. And the last mark is a little minus sign, which is something that I don't worry about it. It's nothing. It's just um, just a little my sign for my purposes for um, you know, paperwork. Anyways, um, all right. Keep that up. Okay, so we are going to do some administration here. I'm not going to take uh, too much time on administration, only on this episode, so you guys understand like how I do it, and then after that. Um, I'll probably just do it off screen. So, we got, uh, let's see here, Admiral Warboy has been killed, so he's going to get a star, as per the code. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to copy that, be really quick. Copy, uh, let's see here, Hobbs is dead. Where's Hobbs? Hobbs is dead. Uh, Shoes is dead. Uh, Voltar is dead. Uh, Solaris Scorch is dead. Um, Admiral Warboy is dead. He's already dead. Da, 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 da. Okay, everybody else is alive. Okay, now the second thing I want to show you on the um, thing is where we're at in the um, in the thing. So after every video, um, the last person on the list is going to be who died last. Ivan Dogovich is pretty down there. Did we get to Athenor yet? We did not get to Athenor. So Arthenor is going to be next. So what I'm going to do is after every episode, the list is going to start right there. And that's what I'll do. So that way I'll know. And you'll know. Now, this will be posted at the description of the video. So um, I'm going to put something up here called spoilers. Spoiler alert so then if you don't want to see the spoilers uh, just don't open it until later and then you can see if you do want to see it just go ahead and uh, see it that's enough of that crap so um that's enough of that crap let's one two three four five six we need six more soldiers at least we only have four hundred twenty thousand, so we can only purchase one great awesome Oh wait, can we purchase more? Oh, they're 40,000. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 7, because we already ordered one coming in. So, we have, like, almost no money. Um, uh, we're down here. There's some people alive, some people dead. The list is here, so we'll start with Arthenor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the Gentleman Gamer. And then go down from there. So we're going to have to save that, and then minus that out, and then, you know, that's going to happen a lot. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. I don't think we have much time left. There's no count. Oh, there's a counter on my recorder. 20 minutes. So I guess we can do some uh, some stuff. Not really do anything. Just advance forward. Hopefully we won't get attacked. 
That would be just mm -hmm. awesome. People come in. Cool. Uh, we'll have a naming. No, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. So. We'll do it now. I got my list up here. Sweet. So, we got Arthanor. Uh, I'm sorry, that was. Ensign Arthanor. Is we're still on the uh, junior officer corps. We have Ensign Falco. We have Ensign Civilian. We have Ensign J. G. Atkinson. And Ensign KK Mick. Uh, this guy will be Ensign X Racer. And Ensign. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a uh, Master Chief Petty Officer, the Masters Empire. And. We got uh, senior ch senior chief petty officer, the gentleman's uh, <laughs> gentleman gamer. We have oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. The next person will be. True Crisis next, and then Dr. O'Lira after that. He will get the doctor tag because he is MD. Okay. No, Doctor. Doctor. Dr. O'Lira. Sweet. Awesome. So we're going to save that and we're going to hit OK. And then uh, make sure that we're not. Oh, we were recording. We're not recording the um, the notepad there. That's fine. You guys know what I'm doing. Okay, awesome. That's it. So let's see what we got here. Construction wide array sonar complete. That'll help us out. That means we can probably deconstruct the standard sonar, but we don't have a lot of money at the moment. We could probably purchase some scientists. Uh, technicians. Okay, we really can't do anything. We'll just hold on to our money for a second. For a second. A small to the west. Abel Seaman Simon. Can you please get that guy? Oh, it landed. It landed. We could have a night mission on our hands. Nope, it will be during the day. And it will be landed in shallow waters. And that'll be all the time we have for today. Next time we will tackle this uh, UF USO unidentified submarine object. USO. That's right. Next time we will attack the USO and we will um, try to not uh, get horribly murdered. Until next time, folks. See you then. Laters.